like my naughty little hamsters. Mm. Uh, my next guest is a very, uh, he's a good old-fashioned American adventurer, is what he is. He hosts the syndicated show Exploration with Richard Weiss. Take a look at this. Please welcome Richard Weiss, everybody. Yeah. Welcome, Richard. Welcome. Thank How you very are much. you? I'm excited. I'm not used to sitting on something with a nice cushion on it and a table. And oh, yeah. All, looks all is, mod is, cons here. This yeah, is the this luxury is that CBS can provide you. <laughs> <laughs> You've never sat in a chair before? No, I have. And I have to tell you, in the green room, I'm used yeah. to camping on the ground or in sometimes crummy hotel rooms. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, work for CBS, you know, you have all yeah, these yeah. things like free water and there was a chocolate dish. So I, I was just so tempted to sort of... Help yourself. I, I will. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Will. No, help so, yourself. Yeah. But I, think, I think there's some cheesy puffs there as well. They're very, very nice. No, I'm cheesy puff intolerant. So no, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm intolerant. <laughs> now, listen, tell me, that, the, when you go around exploring places, you go with the very dangerous animals and stuff like that. The, yeah, uh, the snakes and the spiders and then the... Is there any animal you're actually afraid of, or are you not afraid of them? At vampires. All? Vampires, huh? Vampires. Stay away from them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob Barker's studio is just down the... You know, e exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I guess uh, I've done stuff with alligators and crocodiles, and especially crocodiles, large ones. Yeah. I mean, they have... What I, stuff I, have you done with a large crocodile? <laughs> well, I have to tell you, one of my heroes growing up was a guy you probably never heard of, Jim Fowler. You grew up in a different, different land, country, yeah. but people out in the audience would have heard of him. Yeah. And he used to wrestle 14 and 15 foot crodiles. Why? And so, well, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, for television, oh, you, know, right, you like the show. Yeah, entertainment. Yeah, it's yeah, entertainment right, yeah, value. Yeah. So he used to do 14 and 15 foot ones, and I do seven. And so I, I always felt I was like half the man he was. <laughs> Have you ever, you've never wrestled a 14-foot crocodile? I, I've actually sat on one, not a crocodile, an alligator. Alligator. It's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the, the crocodiles are much bigger and meaner, right? Uh, they're about the same size. Uh, in the Everglades where we were just filming, they right. have both alligators and crocodiles. Really? But down in Australia, the crocodiles, uh, honest to goodness, are nuts. I mean, yeah. they will leap into boats trying to eat you. Yeah, well, that's the Australians too, though. Australians are just, uh, <laughs> they, they do the same thing. What about bears? You ever been around bears? I or? have. Uh, grizzly bears, in fact. Yeah. We're up in Alaska, and uh, we were, oh, I, I would say uh, 15 feet away from grizzly bears. Now, that's a very dangerous animal, a grizzly bear, isn't it? It is, but if they're intent on feeding, they're not going to be interested in you. And I, I know on that uh, movie Jackass, they dressed in a salmon suit and went in, in, the, in the river, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I would like to see them do that stunt when the salmon are out of the river. Oh, really? Yeah, because when the bear's eating salmon, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a jackass in a salmon suit. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, but when they're you know when there's no salmon there, they go after because they're very dangerous. Right? Yeah, they're they're so driven by scent, and yeah. so they, they don't care whether you're a human or anything. And sometimes when people have backpacks, they just smell the food behind. Maybe it. that Britney Spears perfume there. Yeah, could they get a whiff of that? They'll be all, I, that probably smells a bit like bear anyway. You know what? The scent of Britney attracts any animal. Any animal. Brings at all, the animal actually. out in you. No. Oh, hello. <laughs> What about, uh, what, what about around this neighborhood, around you know, maybe the, uh, the L.A. neighborhood? Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, just before we came on the show, we were out in the desert doing something with bighorn sheep oh, yeah. and with mountain lions. And earlier today, I actually had a tarantula crawling across There's my... tarantulas here? Tarantulas. Really? In L.A.? Yeah. Uh, just outside of L.A. in towards Palm Desert. Wow. I yeah. thought it was just weasels in L.A. and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen, well you've got a, uh, primarily you're, you're an explorer, right? You're a part yeah. of the Explorers Club in, right. in New York. Now what does that actually mean? What does it entail? What do you do? Well, it, it's an organization that was started in 1904 by people trying to get to the North Pole and to the South Pole. And, right. You know, ever since it's included people like Sir Edmund Hillary, the first on Everest. The right. First people on the moon, Neil Armstrong and Buzz right. Aldrin, Jane Goodall. Uh, Are you, uh, do you climb mountains and stuff as well? Yeah, you I do, yeah. You have, have you been up Everest? I, you know, I'm going to Everest in April. Really? Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've never been. I hear it's very nice. You, Chilly, you, though. <laughs> you look like the type that, you know, might be uh, on the adventurous side. I tell you, I quite like the idea of doing something like that. I can't get a weekend off from ZBS, but I tell you, I, I, I do quite like the idea of it. Does it take a special type of person to do that, do you think? Is it a, a driven type of thing? You know, I, I think everyone has different levels of adventure, and, and I think the biggest ingredient is curiosity. So. 
you know, while I might say going to the North Pole or going to Everest is a great adventure, for somebody it might be just going to the Grand Canyon or the Everglades and seeing those things. So I, I never really measure a man or a person by, you know, the size of the animal they've encountered. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what do you do at the Explorers Club then? Do you all just get together and go, I remember I shot that tiger in India. Oh, well, that's is it like that? Uh, you know, there is an element of it. <laughs> really? Oh, absolutely. Oh, my. But, uh, you know, it, it's a great club of eccentric people. Yeah. Uh, I'm no longer president of the Explorers Club. I work for the American Museum of Natural History, right. and I lead uh, adventure tours, uh, to, say, to the North Pole or on top of you Kilimanjaro. You the North Pole? Yeah, I Santa? Have you seen Santa at the North Pole? You know, Pole? I looked and looked. But, honest to goodness, when I was at the North Pole this past April, it yeah. was like a zoo up there. You had... Prince Albert had just been there. Really? You had some Polish divers diving in the water there. Aye. And you had a guy trying to be the first guy to uh, parachute at the North Pole. So I spent all these days Busy. skiing. Yeah, I yeah. spent all these days skiing by myself. And all of a sudden you see, you know, people diving, people parachuting. And... That's, it's weird though. And now, is there, is there, are the ice caps actually melting up there? Is that for real? Do you, have you noticed it? You know, it, it, I've noticed more on Kilimanjaro because uh, I visited Kilimanjaro for the first time when I was... Which is in Africa, right? In Africa, right, right on the equator. And right. when I was 11, I went there with my father. And I've been there pretty much every decade since. And I have noticed a marked change on the glaciers uh, shrinking. There's no way someone can say just by seeing something right. unless they have a lot of data before that. But, you know, yeah, they, they are melting. Well, uh, it's a great concern. And, and I hope people that you keep keep working at it and keep bringing our attention to it and, and keep exposing uh, the, the rest of the planet to it. It's, it's, it's lovely to meet you, yeah, Richard. It's Thank you so much you for well. that. Richard Weiser, everybody. I'd like to thank my guest, David Hasselhoff and Katie Stunstall. Join me tomorrow night. Jenny will love you. We'll see you, everybody. Good night.